let's take a look at the volume of pyramids and cones. The volume of a pyramid or cone is one-third of the volume of the prism or cylinder that, which contains it. You can see that in the picture off to the right. We have a square-based prism. Within that square-based prism is a pyramid that is exactly the same height and has the same base shape. We take our formula for the volume of a rectangular or square-based prism. We take the length, we multiply that by the width, and then we multiply that by the height. To end up with length of 5 meters times width of 5 meters times a height of 6 meters. We multiply all those numbers together to get the volume of this particular rectangular prism as being 150 meters cubed. Next we use our rule. We know that the volume of a pyramid or cone is one third of this volume. So that means that the volume of the pyramid inside the prism is 150 meters cubed divided by 3. So the volume of our pyramid is 50 meters cubed. This leaves us with a formula for the volume of a pyramid. The formula is 1 third length times width times height. Let's take a look at this example. Let's find the volume of the cone below. Well first we're going to need some measurements. If it has, say, a radius of 5 centimeters and a height of 10 centimeters, we're really going to compare this cone, using our one-third rule, to a cylinder that would contain it. Such a cylinder would look like this. Here we have a cylinder with the same radius and the same height, so we know that this cone would fit directly in it. We also know that if we take the volume of this cylinder and divide it by 3, we'll end up with the volume of the cone. In this way, we have our volume of the cone being developed. Our formula for volume of a cylinder is pi r squared times height, where r is the radius and h is the height. Our formula for volume of a cone is equal to one third times pi r squared times height. Let's substitute some of these numbers in. For pi, we always use the number 3.14. The radius of our cone is 5 centimeters. We have to square that value because it's called for in the formula. And then we multiply the by the height of 10 centimeters. When we multiply this out, I'm going to use the rules of bed mass. So I'll bring that exponent of 2 into the 5 first. So I'll have 1 third times 3 decimal 1 4 for pi. 5 centimeters squared becomes 25 centimeters squared times 10 centimeters. Now I'm going to multiply these three numbers together on my calculator. So I'll pull out my calculator. And I'll type in 3.14. And I'll divide that, I'll multiply that by 25. And multiply the product by 10. So I have 785. And this is going to be in centimeters cubed. What we've just calculated right here, that's 785 centimeters cubed, is this portion of our original formula. So we've calculated the volume of the cylinder that contains this cone. And all that's left to do is divide this by 3. 
Again, I'll take out my calculator. We'll take 785 and divide it by 3. And I'm left with a repeating decimal. I'll round to two decimal places. So I'll have 261 decimal 67. So I found the volume of my cone to be 261.67 centimeters cubed. I make a statement and I'm finished.